Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. Today, we are at Village Creek State Park. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be very honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. Today, I find myself wandering around in eastern Arkansas, if you can believe that. And better yet, we are at Village Creek State Park. This is a, way, a waypoint on our journey to North Carolina. I have got Little Red, the high-speed mobility scooter. I've got the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod, but best of all, I have you. So let's go take a virtual tour of Village Creek State Park. This is a beautiful park, let me tell you. Cue the music. Now if you have not guessed by the number of horse trailers that just rolled by, Village Creek State Park here in Arkansas has got a fantastic equipped equestrian campground. Just beautiful. Now we have, for our cell phone service, we, we are using Verizon and we carry a Verizon jetpack with us. And the motor home is equipped with a, a AT&T modem from Ford and a WineGuard 2.0 system that I have a T-Mobile SIM card inserted into. We don't have cell service. <laughs> but, 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 fear not, there is public Wi-Fi. On every restroom, there's a, a Wi-Fi hotspot. So here at the front, when you come in, don't don't mistake that for the turn into the visitor center. That's that's what I did. It's just a a memorial for the talking about the Arkansas state flag. Now there's a couple of hills that we have to go up and down but that's all right the scenery here is well worth it and about as I started running around on my scooter at about two o'clock I saw three deer so keep your eyes peeled heck we might even see a a big hairy ape-like thing in these here woods. There's not any TV service here either. Such a pretty day. Now right now, fire danger is almost non-existent. Hold on! I didn't go through the visitor center parking lot mainly because there's nothing really exciting to see from the parking lot. Now they do have a bicycle repair station which was really cool. I've, I've never seen that before. Big air pump and tools so you can fix your bicycle. They have a little camp store, sell camp kind of camp store kind of stuff. Fire 
firewood, ice, junk food. Right outside the park gate, about a mile and a half, there's a small convenience store. And the lady that checked me in at the park said that you can buy eggs and milk and stuff like that at that store. And we're headed down to the day use area first, and then we'll finish up with the camping loops. This park is just this so beautiful. Do some switchbacking to get up that. I don't even know if I can switch back up it. <laughs> Hold on. That's a heck of a hill. I did not know about this. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll accelerate the timeline so that you don't have to... Now that might make you sick. I don't know. Whew, almost there. Now I know we, we, we've got to do one of those going up to the to the other camping loop. It's not that steep though. Coming down is going to be going to be a trip too. All right, I think we're at the top. Village Creek State Park is situated on the Trail of Tears. And there's a memorial, a placard of at the front of the, at, at the visitor center that talks about that. You can actually read more about that on the park website. It's a sad time. There's not a whole lot of ADA friendly anything in this in this campground. As far as activities go, I mean, they, they, they've done what they can. So there's picnic sites and the pavilion. Ah, there's a group pavilion. a basketball goal, basketball court at the end of the road. So if you want to shoot some hoops, this is the place to do it. At Village Creek State Park. They also have some tennis courts that will be going by. And a very nice group pavilion. And 
I guess this is just a picnic area. Just a day use. Bring a piss pick, bring a lunch, and enjoy Mother Nature. Bit, the parking lot is a little bit rough. Stop sign. What stop sign? I didn't see no stinking stop sign. Big group pavilion. Wow, look at that playground. Kids would enjoy playing on that one. And then we have our day use lake area. So if you want to get some swimming in. You got to do the swim thing. Set the camera. Hold on. All right, got the camera reset. We can get back on the road. Man, these these are bumpy bumpy roads always cause my my selfie stick to fall down. All right, now we're gonna go down <laughs> go down that really steep hill. Ooh, it's nice in the shade here. Got to be careful going down this big steep hill on Little Red. There are two lakes here at Village Creek State Park. This is the boat ramp for one of them, but they're so steep. That one's so steep, I can't can't give you a very good look. They're no wake lakes. You're really not going to be putting a, your big pontoon boat in there. Alright, here we go. Down the steep hill. Good thing I put new brakes on before we left. Because I need them. Look at that, whoa! And then I got that hard lift I gotta make. Survive! All right. And we're gonna cruise through the valley here. Climb up another hill and take a look at some camping loops. It's gonna be a little bit on the, this, this is gonna be one of the longer virtual tours. I have been having more trouble with my Hero 9 camera finally did a factory reset yesterday. It kept shutting off on me and dumping my files. You have no idea how frustrating that is. 
unless you're a YouTube creator, a videographer, and then you know. When your camera just de chooses to delete all of your work, especially doing it the way I do it, where I'm, you know, I'm, I'm out for two weeks shooting video of campgrounds in a 2,000 mile loop. It's not like I can go back anytime soon. There's a baseball field. Well, a baseball backstop. Such a pretty day. It is June 27, 2021. been really surprised on this this weekend this is our second campsite campground this weekend uh, and both of those so far both of those campsites have had lots of availability now this this one the second loop on this one is a little more crowded than the one that we're set up on Coming up here on our left, you'll see the big tennis court set up. There's four courts there. Right there. to wonder why they didn't just shorten the road why didn't we just cut right across although that might change the beauty of things Coming into all right, so we're, what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is easy for me to say. I'm gonna go ahead and climb this hill. We're gonna come back and finish up on this camping loop that we're passing. We're gonna go see the the full connection loop and the equestrian loop. Gotta get up the hill. This is the last one of these we have to do. probably a good thing because it's going to be draining my battery but now that I put this the big battery in Little Red well, before I would never have been able to do this climb these hills I get one, one of them and the battery would be shot all right back into the shade how beautiful is this? As we're driving out here, Yappy's like, you know, we really ought to just move to Arkansas. I'm like, well, we ought to just move our RV around. Because there's lots of beautiful places. Why well, be stuck in one? of a hill than it looks that's all right when we get up here you'll see that it was well worth it of 
course, if you're driving, you're not going to have to worry too much about the hill. This is the second lake. What is this lake? I forget. I forget the name of this lake. Hold on, there's a sign up here that will that will refresh my memory. Lake Dunn. And lake Dunn has canoes and kayaks to rent. There's also a boat ramp down here that I can actually show you. it's not so overly steep. There's your boat ramp for my boat ramp fans. So we just gotta get up this hill again. Putting that battery to the test today. We're not gonna be able to see the boat rental because this is down there. All right, on to the camping loop. Breaking the law, breaking the law. The stop signs are red, and I am on a red scooter, so they cancel each other out. So here on the right is a cabin for rent. That's actually, I think, a, I was going to say a duplex, but it's not a duplex. And then there's a cabin loop there. We'll catch that on the way back. Cabins two through seven. And there's another loop up here. Cabins 8, 9, and 10. So I guess nine and ten are it's a duplex. But it backs up to the lake. Although you'll have to climb down the hill to get to the lake. Park is bigger than it actually looks on the map. Old Yappy looking at the map. Oh, this won't take long. <laughs> I'm wrong. That's all right. She's under air conditioning. Happy in a camp. There are two dump stations. That's one of two. The other one is the last camping loop that we'll be visiting. This is your full connection loop. Nice concrete pad. This is just and I can spend I can spend some time here. Early 
earlier when I was driving through here, this is where I saw the deer. I guess y'all want me to slow down for these camping loops, don't you? Alright. Like that Impala, that was sharp. Oh, we have lake access on this loop as well. A play structure for the kiddos. And an actual beach. Quite a few pull throughs over here. Had I only known. But I really couldn't find actionable information when I was booking my reservation. But now I know. I think we'll be returning to this park. I like that one right there. Sight number 60. Of course, I don't know if I could get level. That's a good one too, right there. Back up in the, in the tree. Let's head on over to the really awesome equestrian loop. And I just noticed something. So if you're coming here and you need full connections and your dump station is your your wet bay is in the front of your RV you're gonna need extra hose because the sewer is at the rear at the back of the site Starting to get horse. A horse is a horse, of course. A horse is a horse, a horse, of course. Unless, of course, the horse is Mr. Ed. We're gonna go the wrong way. We're gonna get to look at that. Look at that car again. He's a good-looking car. Man, I like that. Look at the stables they have here. They take their horse camping serious. A 
lots of available fights out here. Site number 77 is the one you want if you're looking for a good horse camp. All right. We're going to head on back and finish up the final loop. That'll be a fast trip back because most of it's downhill. most of it oh that's right we still have to do the the cabin loop as well all of it's downhill from here which little red is probably grateful for that in the shade. Down the cabin loop we go. You just have all kinds of privacy down here. more down there but there's no point in going down and turning around. I'm getting hungry. I think it's gonna be this is gonna be one of the longer virtual tours that I've done. Uh, at least it's gonna be as long as Brazzles Bend. That was a long one. Okay. Now we're all downhill. People don't seem to see me when I'm on Little Red. <laughs> and when they do, they're like, holy cow, what's that? When we 
rolled out of camp this morning we were gonna dump our tanks and the camper ahead of us I don't know if they were new campers or what but they didn't have the proper fitting to connect their hose to the dump station and so they were basically just dumping their sewer on the ground and trying to wash it into the hole and then they use their fresh water hose to connect to the non-potable water and flush their tank none of neither one of them were wearing gloves and they were touching their face in the process and we, we were just aghast and we decided we didn't want to stand in their sewer so we just we, we passed on using that dump station well we'll we'll dump tanks before we set up camp and we arrived here and wouldn't you know we must have had their, their those people the, there must have been cousins or something because they were they were doing the same thing dumping their sewer all over the dang ground no gloves all right i'll, I'll quit complaining that was grossed out <laughs> most of these are are smaller and tent these are these are tent sites in this section or your small rv I, know, I gotta slow down I'm sorry most of these don't have power and now we're moving into an RV loop and these do have power and water 30 and 50 amp they're all very flat so getting level will be no issue. Park police going the wrong way. Coming full circle. And here we are. Well, they're always so much fun, especially in a park like this hey if you're if you're still with me at this point man I thank you I'm so deeply honored I'd appreciate you consider clicking on the subscribe button down there if you've not already done so for those of you who have been following hold on for those of you who have been following along thank you that's why I get to do what I do that, that's why I get to visit these cool places and for my subscribe my page and for my patrons you guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?